In this next example, we uh, show how to do a very simple inner join with the exception of we actually use a temp table as one of the tables as opposed to just uh, two real tables. So first of all, we'll just take a look. There's the employee table and the department table in this particular database. And just to show you really quickly how they're joined, um, basically department is a lookup table for the employees. So the DP key or the primary key of the department table is a foreign key for the employee table. Now, of course, like always, I have messed up data where one of them is null and one of them doesn't map to anything. And then same thing over here. There's a department down here that never shows up in the employee table. So lots of fun stuff. Well, here's what we would normally do if there was no such thing as a temp table entering into the picture. What we could do is just basically say, look, I want the first name and the last name from the one table and then show me the name, the full name of the department from the other table. Do an inner join um, where the DP keys match in each case, which means it's going to eliminate some data because, you know, there's, there's employees that don't map to it, so we're not going to see them. So two of the employees didn't make it, but there's just a simple example. You know, really, this probably could have been a left join instead if we wanted to show more records from the employee table, but it's just a simple example. So it's an inner join. We've got these fields from the first table, this field from the second table. They're matched, and there you go. But now, how would we do this if we had to do something crazy with a temp table? Well, what I'm going to do here, it's a little different. I'm going to say select into uh, select star into temp from employees, but I'm going to kind of dumb down the data set. I'm going to say where the DP key is not in one or five, and then I'm going to say select star from temp. Let's just let's run these two well, actually you know let's let's just run the whole thing first but we'll just we'll only look at the temp table whoops didn't want to do that I did. so basically this temp table uh, it's taking everything from employees where the DP key is not one and it's not five so now instead of the 11 records there's only eight of them okay so it's basically um, a dumbed down record set great well then, what do we do if we want to use that now in a join later on? Well, just like it was a normal table, what we do here is we just say select the same stuff that you know we wanted to select last time from, and then here, instead of putting the employee table, which you would normally do, um, we're just going to say hash mark TMP because that's the name of the table. And here I'm just calling it EM for employees, or whatever. It doesn't really matter what I call it. It doesn't really matter what the name of the temp table was, just as long as I use the same name. And um, so just like a normal table, I'm going to say from the temp table, inner join the real table, you know, where this key equals that key. And it works like a charm. So let's do this. And I'm going to go like this. And by the way, just as a side note, because I'm using temp tables and I'm running this code more than once while the query window is open, I have to use drop table hash mark TMP at the end so that when I do that it doesn't keep it in it doesn't keep it in the temp database because if I didn't have this line and then I ran this a couple of times what would happen is it would crash it wouldn't let me do it okay so now all that I did now you know I have the temp table it just got recreated again with a dumbed down you know list of customers and then I just basically joined it up against a department table and here's what I have I have this consolidated list of everybody that was in the temp table, and there was actually another name, um, and then but that also maps to the department table. So that, that's how you do it. You just with the temp table, you just put it right in the from clause, just like it was a real table, because uh, at least for the time that this window is open, it is a real table.